Hey, good afternoon, Critter friends. What's going on? Well, we've had our ice storm. We've had our snowstorm. So today is catch-up day. Plus, trash day will be coming up. So we got our guys who are hanging out, taking a nap. This is Raindrop. Say hi, Raindrop. Lily Rose, who won't leave her sweater on. Mr. Bun Buns. <coughs> who thinks he's anything but a rabbit? <laughs> so let me try putting this somewhere where you can see. What's going on? That's not going to work. I use sweater boxes for litter pans. All right, this is supposed to pull up, and it won't pull up. What's going on? There we go. Okay, so I use horse litter. Because, for one, it dehydrates the doo-doos. And it turns actually into like sawdust. I need to get my mask on. Hopefully you can understand me. I just basically use an old dust bag and I use the cat food bags and the, the cat food bags and the litter bags to put the yucky stuff in. It makes it go a lot faster. Fun, fun. <clears throat> yes, I use sweater boxes for litter pants. It gives them a lot of room. Mine don't like being in enclosed spaces while they're going potty. <laughs> I only have six kitties now. I had fifteen. I have had more. But between the fibromyalgia and the COPD, I just can't handle any critters. So we're able to find one of the local SPCA took eight. Pretty much adopted out all the young ones and kept the oldies. And the ones that have special needs. 
and all the ones we placed were adopted out within two months. I missed it. Another thing that's nice about the horse litter, it doesn't stick to the pans. It doesn't glob up and gunk like something litter and That's not what I wanted to do. I completely missed the bag. Right on the floor. Okay. Now to refill. This is what I use. Factor supply pelleted bedding. Forty pounds for five ninety nine. You can't beat that. If you get small animal stuff that's like this, it's like fifteen, sixteen dollars for maybe seven pounds. Then I put scent in it or something. Works just fine. Now scoop it out. Sometimes I just do it with my hands. Just easier. About this is that you can't fill it up. You just have just the barest, barest bit of it. Because, like I said, when it gets wet, it puffs up. And if you got it full, it'll puff up and just take over. <laughs> like for real. One clean potty. Then we got the papers. Well, I have kind of a, a bunny. How do I flip this around? Well, anyway. Bunny has his little seat. Plus I have the paper in here for Little Miss.
Lily Rose. So I'll just scoop it up. So good enough. Closed. It's a closed uh, thing to put the yucky papers in. The liner smells like uh, vanilla. And I just lay some more newspapers down. Lily Rose doesn't like to go outside in the cold or the wet. And she's got the tiniest, tiniest little poops. They're way tinier than the cats. Never seen such stuff. Of course, before I got these two, I used to always have kind of bigger dogs. So, they made a bigger mess. But my little Lily is well over 13. So, we give her a, we give her a break. Right, Lily? Say bye-bye. Say bye-bye, Mr. Bun-Buns. Say bye-bye, Raindrop. Say bye. Bless your furry hearts. <laughs>